Hello friends, I am Dr. Sandeepa. Welcome to my channel Homeopath. In this channel, we are discussing the subjects regarding the practical application of homeopathy according to the great masters Hanuman, Dr. Hanuman, Dr. Kent, Dr. Bugair and so many masters has laid down the principles, laid down the rules how to treat the patients. So, in this series, I have done so many videos friends. If you have, if you are new to this channel, please watch those videos. Today's subject is levels of diseases. So, in chronic diseases, usually we come across so many symptoms and two or three important things a beginning practitioner should understand is So disease in chronic state, it will be laid in layers. So when you take out the first layer, the second layer itself will appear. So this can be also called as finding a similimum. Every new consultation, you go with a patient. So a patient comes for a first consultation. So what is his first layer, what is his dominating miasm, what is his stimulus response mechanism to be studied in depth. So in this we usually will be coming across so many things confusing us. One is what is the dominating miasm. So usually as our masters told dominating miasm in more than 80% of the patients will be sora. Remaining 20% is psychosis, syphilis and combined miasms. So taking into consideration and also taking into consideration of the present generation, we must be very conscious of taking the totality and also understanding the mechanism of the disease in its cellular aspect, tissue aspect and pathophysiology. So this is one of the neglected aspect in homeopathy so that how the cure is possible is an imaginary thing for a beginning homeopathic practitioner and also a new homeopathic practitioner. So pathophysiology, understanding the process of the diseases, understanding the cellular concept is very very important in treating every chronic disease. So this levels of diseases has been told by different masters in a different way. So one basic thing what Hanuman focused in his 12 year research is miasmatic background. So this miasmatic background is very very important in treating every individual case and knowing his dominating miasm. So usually if you come across any patient, usually he will be revealing all the features of all the miasms. But what is the mechanism in the cellular tissue and organ level which is going on and disturbing him. So if it is a soric background, there will be a functional disorder. If it is a psychotic background, there will be a formation of nodes and a soft tissue is affected. So if it is syphilis, the affection is more deeper and the destruction of the cell, the process of destruction is involving the cell, tissue and organ. 
This is the generalized view of miasms. So, if you can understand this properly, you can come to a conclusion what is the dominating miasm in a person. So, 50% of our work is finished when we understand the dominating miasm in each individual patient. And now comes the totality. So, totality is not just aggregation of the symptoms. It is just not to take all his physical symptoms, mental symptoms and his moral symptoms. Also, you must note the symptoms in a cellular aspect and how the stimulus response is given by each individual patient. When I say stimulus response, it is an overall uh, understanding. That is, when a cell is triggered, what is the mechanism of a cell? When a tissue is triggered, what is the mechanism of a tissue? When a mind of a person, when the mind of a patient is triggered, how he responds? And not only that, his response for the environmental thing, his response for light, his response for cold, his response for surrounding atmosphere. This is an overall understanding of the stimulus response mechanism in each individual person. So, that is what we are going to take into consideration and finding the similimum. So, every consultation when a patient comes in, a physician should be keenly observe his eyes, his face, his total personality change. If there is no change, then the medicine you have given, the remedy you have given has not done a proper work. So, there will be a marked change in his facial features. There will be a marked change in his generalities. There will be a marked change in his aversion, cravings and so many things will be in his life situation has changed. So, one of the important thing what a homeopathic physician should always notice is the stimulus response correction whatever we have done is remaining in a same state or it is totally changed. So, this is one of the important thing what our masters are stressed in his in the books. So, when we take a case, you must observe all the features together and come to a conclusion for the next prescription. To repeat the dose, change the medicine or to what action to be taken or you must still wait for the things to be cleared off. And whenever you are sure that this medicine is an indicated totalitarian medicine in all the aspects, then you can give that medicine and wait for the results. So, this is all today friends. If you have any queries, if you have any questions, please put in the comment section. If you like this channel, please like, share and subscribe the channel. And also, you help in propagating the knowledge of homeopathy to all our colleagues and all our practitioners. Thank you and take care.